tree in 120 seconds. A tree, or tri as it's pronounced by some people, is a data structure. It's not a tree. Well, it is a tree, but it's also a tree, which is a special kind of tree. This confusing name was brought to you by the eminently talented Edward Fredkin, who for this stunning example of trollsmanship was awarded the Dixon Prize in Science, an accolade reserved for the biggest dicks in science. So what's the difference between a tree and a tree, you ask? The answer is obvious, and I where the E should be. Here's a sample problem. We're building a telephone autocomplete implementation. It's important to have some idea how to build an efficient autocomplete, not because it's functionality that's commonly useful, but because it's a common interview question. The problem, we have an input, BU, or SAND, for example, and we want to find a short list of the popular words that start with these letters. Calculating word popularity is a complex topic, so I'm going to gloss it over completely and say we have a large corpus of text, count the instances of each word, and the most popular words are the words that show up the most often. Seems legit. Now, we're going to need some data structure into which we can stuff a map from prefix to word candidates, so when we ask it for sand, it tells us quickly that we're probably looking for sandcastle, or sandwich, or sandy, or sandrew. There are a lot of possible ways to solve this problem. I'm particularly fond of ginormous hash tables because I've never heard of space complexity, but this is a good time for our friend at the tree to shine. In a tree, each node has a set of pointers to child nodes. In our case, one for every letter of the alphabet. Each node also contains the data associated with the prefix that brought you there. So if we are at BU, this node might contain the list, but BuzzFeed bucket. For a prefix M characters long, you can get to your data in O of M. And it doesn't take up much more space than the original dictionary. Bam, that's a tree. Thanks for watching.